Hi Andy, uh, Michael Glenn, RT Sport. Uh, congratulations, uh, that must have been a performance that ticked a lot of boxes for you. Oh, it was a bit more than that, we're not into ticking boxes. Um, we, uh, we, we, we like to see and judge ourselves on how we've prepared for a tough game, which, was, which it was always going to be um, against a, a Tongan side that's raring to, to, to go with the quality that they've got. And the quality in the coaching staff, and you know, to get the, the the tournament up and running, there was always going to be a tough challenge for us. But I thought we handled uh, the game and the opponent extremely well. Um, even when things weren't going too well for us, as in error-wise, etc. I thought, as far as control and territory-wise, I thought we, we 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 controlled the game really well. And once we got a couple of scores up. Um, I thought we, we, we followed nicely and, uh, and controlled the game throughout. Johnny won't like to talk about this, but can you have a comment on your captain and his record-breaking achievement? No. No. <laughs> no. Um, look, um, I, I think it was fitting. He had, he had nine points, hadn't he? He had nine points and equaled the record, hadn't he, before he scored the try. That's what I was trying to uh, find out with the with uh, Vinny, our, our analyst, and um, two, two minutes later, he, he, he scored on the post, and you just knew when we got held up and we were set to play, that play is something that we, we, we obviously practiced during the week, and he knows which ones to follow, and uh, uh, he, f he, f he followed Connor uh, really well, and it was so fitting that he, 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 um, he brought the... He broke the record uh, with a try like that. Um, but what I would say, and I've said to, to Johnny uh, in front of the lads in there, that uh, I mean he can he can talk for himself, but the record's fantastic. But he'd, he'd say that um, uh, that that's his job, etc. Um, but it takes some doing. Uh, but to us, as a as a as a leader, as a player, um, he's a lot more than point scoring machine, you know, for, for Ireland, how he prepares his team and gets them up for, for absolutely every game uh, selflessly is more important to, I would think, him and, and, certainly, and certainly to us. Uh, Richie McCormack off the ball. Johnny, I am going to put you on the spot. How did you feel in that moment? Because you spoke during the week that you weren't concentrating on records like that, but when you got that try, it seemed to kind of take over at the moment, kind of caught up on you. I was just happy to, to score the try. Um... I think if you, one of the lads said it to me under the post, and um, I actually thought I might have got it on the kick before. But um, look, I, I, I think it's, it's something when you retire and you finish, you can look back on and, and be very proud. I think uh, my little boy will be over the moon. He was talking about it uh, during the week and um, probably means more to him. Um, he'll chase it down now. Um, and so the other tens, you know, it's there to be broken now, and um, I'm sure some young guys will be will be eyeing it up. And uh, look, I'm very proud to 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 do it. But tonight was more about uh, getting the win and, and moving on to what's such a massive game now uh, this week. Congratulations, Andy. Just as a follow-up, how's Finley feeling after that uh, being taken off ten minutes into the second half? And I saw Ty Byrne receiving assistance a couple of times during that second half as well. Is he okay? Tag Burns fine, yeah, and Finley's in, in in great spirits, so he'll um he'll go through the protocols tomorrow. But um, uh, looking at him and, and speaking to the medics, they're, they're pretty happy with where he's at. But obviously, we'll follow the protocols properly. Here we go, Johnny. Tw twenty uh, twenty tries for your first two matches. You must be really pleased with the start that the team has made to this competition. Yeah, look, the. the We've trained uh, incredibly hard all summer, um, so we're fit enough and, and able to get ourselves into position to to score tries and to, to, to put the opposition under pressure. So we've done that well at times over the, the first two weeks. Uh, there was plenty of stuff that we'll look back on early in the game where we're going to need to be um, more accurate and, and clinical next week uh, against the, the reigning world champions. And uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty that we need to improve on for sure. And Andy, how much better do you think your side will be from coming through this experience tonight? Um, I, well, I would hope we 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 will be better um, because we'll, we'll we'll certainly need to be um, playing against a fantastic side in, in in South Africa. But 
two two games under the belt is good for us. Um, you know, I, I I felt for Tonga a, a little bit in the sense that they didn't get to play last week, and I think you know, once you got the first game out of the, out of the way, that you, you 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 find your rhythm better, and it certainly looked like that from from our point of view. Hopefully, that rolls on um, uh, to another level on, on the third week, um, because. Um, I mean, this is this is what World Cups are all about. So weeks that are coming um, against the reigning world champions, it doesn't really get any better, you know. And it's one thing for sure, you know, that the Irish are going to turn up and enjoy it as well. Uh, so it's a fantastic week to look forward to. Here we go. Just a reminder before we start: no filming from the floor, please. Uh, Rory O'Connor, Irish defendant, Andy. Um do you feel any sense of vindication? You see Wales and France rotated heavily and, and struggled to, you know, to put away um, you know, tier two opponents as such. The team you picked, it's all worked out perfectly. I don't see vindication at all. I, I, I understand why people have an opinion, but, but we make um, calculated uh, uh, decisions based on the facts that we've got and what's best for, and what's best for our team. Um, so uh, I, I don't think I, I need to vindicate myself in, in what decision we make. Uh, the right thing for our team this week is to get a little bit of continuity and get more game time and and uh, and, and get the job done and uh, get people off at the right time, etc. Can you give us a sense of the scale of the step up this week, the challenge ahead and how ready you feel the guys are for that? Well, we're not ready to quite yet, but we, we certainly will be. It's something that we've, um, we've talked about um, uh, quite a bit, obviously, with the, the uh, opponents that we've that we knew we was going to face. So, you know, we best laid plans and all that was has, has been pretty pretty good so far. Um, we'll take that a step further this week and get the players to own that as soon as possible, as soon as they possibly can. And and that's something that they they're doing very well at this moment in time. And uh, Keen Tracy, Irish independent. Johnny had uh, just a couple of quick ones. Has Raj been in touch at all, or was he in touch during the week, or even afterwards, sir? I haven't checked my phone yet. Do you think he is? <laughs> I have no idea. I'd have to ask him. Um, I'm not sure we're talking to each other after the European Cup final. <laughs> uh, no, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he will. Um, the quality of the tries that you scored, particularly off set piece, must give you an awful lot of confidence for what's coming ahead. Um, yeah, you know, I thought the line out was excellent tonight. Um, scrum as well. We got a lot of. Uh, Territory and field position from the set piece, and uh, the guys executed brilliantly, um, which was great. Um, so yeah, the forwards laid the, the platform, and uh, we, we got a couple of nice uh, tries in both halves of uh, first phase or well, second phase. Um, so I was very pleasing with that. Here we go. Uh, Ed Elliott, PA Media. Hi, Johnny. Following the long time you had out, the the minutes you had last week, and the, the half game you had tonight. Do you feel like you're back in peak condition and ready to go for, for South Africa? Obviously, the performance would suggest that. Well, like I said, uh, before the Romania game, uh, the proof will be next Saturday um, if I'm in good form. Uh, that, that's you got to go and do it in the games. No point in saying you're, you're feeling good or whatever. You know, I'll just take it day by day, make sure I recover well, uh, turn up to training Monday, Tuesday, and, and try and help put the, the plan in place to... Like to take on the, like I said already, the, the reigning world champions. They've hit a great vein of form, and uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us, but one that we are uh, really excited about, and uh, hopefully we'll be ready for it. Thank you. There we go. Bonsoir pour uh, RMC Sport, Pierre Yves Leroux. Peut-être la réponse à la question en français, Jonathan, est-ce que c'est capital de gagner la semaine prochaine et de terminer uh, premier du groupe? I the end of that. You, you have to, to finish first of the group. It's very important to win uh, last, last week. Next um, week, sorry. Yeah, like, I, I, we obviously want to win the group. Um, we want to win every game. Uh, that, that's pretty clear. Um, you know, no matter if we can get through the group, I don't think that uh, you're going to have an easy game if you finish first or second, but uh, we'll be going... Uh, for the for for the win next week and and hopefully the week after as well. At the back. 
James Gray, I newspaper. Andy, you said you feel for Tonga coming in, playing their first game here. Do you also feel a bit for Tonga that this is a very rare exposure to tier one sides in terms of international rugby? They, they're in here earlier saying they would welcome a hundred percent the opportunity to to play sides at this mall, given that this is the biggest stage. Surely it's fair for them to get the chance to play sides like you in autumns and summers and things like that. Well, the more opportunities to play in bigger games, that the, the the better the the they're going to be. And I would think that this game tonight is going to benefit them massively for for the for the for the games that they've got coming ahead. I know that they speaking to them, they would have loved to have had a tier one uh, nation to play in a, in a warm up game, but that wasn't to be. Um, so they'll they'll learn a lot from tonight. I, w I would have thought and um, and understand understand. Uh, what it's like in the in, in the World Cup playing playing against tier one tier one nations and give the best version of themselves for for the next couple of weeks. Johnny, how different is it facing the South African defence in terms of time and space? Um, yeah, look, that's the the thing that they they pride themselves on, isn't it? They've uh, they've shown that they're, they're a tough team to play against. Um, we need to be very accurate with you know when we decide to. To take it on, or, or when we decide to kick, um, we we we'll probably learned a lot from the November international, I think. Um, but yeah, they, they try and put us under huge. They try and put everyone under a huge amount of pressure with their line speed and their their pressure at the breakdown. So it's something that uh, I think very similar to what Tonga did at the, uh, in the first half. It will we'll face something similar to that. So um, you know, good preparation. You know, we we took tonight's game for for. Stand alone. We wanted to to give the Tongans the respect that they absolutely deserved because they're a very good team. Um, but it's a, it's a good uh, sort of dry run for what's ahead next week. Have you held much back in terms of power plays or lineup moves? Yes, loads, <laughs> loads. Any more questions from the floor? Three, one, uh, can, I, can I just concentrate on the other side of the ball just for one second? Um, when Peter O'Mahony gets um, sin bin, there's some very brave defending going on. Just how did you view how the systems you've been putting in place worked during a time of, of great stress, sort of just either side of the break? Uh, yeah, um, we, we actually spoke about that at half time, and uh, ironically, Derek, it is, we, we 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 showed tremendous fight in trying to keep them out, and obviously they, they they got over in the end. But there was a few things that we needed to to fix up in that regard. Um, instead of just trying to solve problems ourselves, the the fight's very good. But if you come uh, too desperate, then then all of a sudden. Uh, a bit of feel goes out, goes out of the game, and although I thought we defended pretty well uh, tonight, it's certainly against skillful, strong, um, determined opposition. Um, I know that there'll be a few things that we need to fix up for next week as well. Yeah, it shows the fight and the want and 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 and, uh, and what it means to the lads to to keep them out. And even in those type of situations, when there's um, we're trying to show what it means to to us to defend our own line, we we can be better. Thank you. And that was the last question. And we are wrapping. The mix zone will now be open. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.